Hey YouTube, I got a couple of requests to do a heating segment of the greenhouse uh, as far as how I heat the greenhouse during the winter. Um, so I'm going to go through that. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Um, I have uh, heating coils uh, in the bed and um, I have a lot of tropical trees so I have it um, preset for um, a 70 and it, this uh, heating coil runs underneath the bed and uh, right through all the way down. So I'm gonna kinda take you through a walkthrough of uh, where this is all set up and I'll start to explain the heat and aspects of the greenhouse. Um, I have the disc control controls the actual uh, uh, heated coils underneath the uh, grow bed and again I have it at 70 and I just use this, this module just to control that. Um, so the greenhouse uh, is equipped um, with uh, a propane heater. I decided to go with uh, propane. Um, this is a, an actual uh, propane heater. Um, it's made by uh, the uh, Southern uh, Burner Company. Um, I don't uh, like propane, but I did a lot of research on this. And this is uh, a heater that's actually used in a commercial greenhouse. The heater is equipped with the uh, uh, control valves. This is a standard valve that you will see in your regular furnace. Um, it has a pilot. Um, if there's uh, no gas, uh, uh, if the pilot is out, and uh, it will automatically uh, shut off the gas. And uh, if you can see this, this is just a standard uh, setup um, that you'd get in your regular uh, uh, furnace. Um, so this section here, um, actually, they recommend that you had a get a licensed gas fitter to hook this up, which I did. Um, I don't want to compromise anything when it comes to safety. Um, initially, um, I, I don't like propane uh, or gas, at the, I know, in, for that matter. Um, but I did a lot of uh, research on this, and this is safe. And I uh, decided to go with this. And again, it runs like your standard uh, furnace. This, for, this uh, actual uh, uh, propane heater, uh, cranks out uh, uh, 20,000 uh, BTUs and it's thermostatically uh, controlled. Um, you can see the, the pot is going, you know what, I'm going to turn it up so you kind of get a, an idea. So the thermostat um, I have running back here and um, I have it pretty well much set at 65. I'm just going to crank it up just for you to get a, an idea. So it's cranked up now and uh, you can see the blue f flames in there and it's <laughs> this is this is really hot I mean you're, you're getting the 20,000 BTUs now for sure um, I can't turn this up that much I, I actually start to sweat so uh, let me just turn this down um, so yeah so 20,000 BTUs um, for that heater and then what I, I normally do let's work way back here I also have a backup uh, uh, heater electric heater um, this is uh, a heater that's uh, it's, ma it's manufactured by a company called uh, this is Morley Mar Morley let's get that there yeah and this uh, heater is a 240 uh, volt uh, it's a 240 volt heater um, it cranks out uh, uh, 13,640 BTUs um, it's uh, 4,000 watts. Um, this heater could actually heat this greenhouse no problem um, but you know electric you know running off electric is, is very expensive so I just use this as a backup um, just in case the propane runs out this kicks in for a while and um, you know I could uh, go off the propane which is a, a lot cheaper uh, this is just a, a temporary uh, basis um, but I, I was told people who have this heater, it's not that expensive to run it during the winter, but I, I haven't tried it. I more or less stick with the propane. So again, that's the uh, backup uh, heater source. So getting back to the Southern Burner Company, the thermostat has a, um, a range. You could actually turn it down as uh, uh, low as uh, 30 and as high as about 80. Um, so yeah. So, if you look at the temperature in here right now, let me give you a reading. Um, so, that's the percentage. 
So this is the inside temperature is 73.6 Fahrenheit. Um, the uh, outside temperature, just give you a second. That's just a participation. Um, it's 38.2 Fahrenheit now outside. Um, uh, it is cold, but I know it's not as cold as we're used to in Canada. I've seen temperatures going down to like minus, you know, 20, 22. But even though it's, if you can see, it's 38.2 Fahrenheit outside, and you know the greenhouse is is, is running at a comfortable 73.6. I mean, I don't have, you know, I don't even need a jacket on theoretically. I mean, it's, it's just so warm in here. It's like you're in your house. Um, the uh, heat from this uh, Southern uh, Company uh, burner, it's uh, pretty well much evenly distribu distributed. Um, the only thing I don't like, the, the heater comes from the bottom and then it comes all the way up. Um, I like to see some action, like a force action. So I recommend some kind of fan. So uh, Southern Burner Company, if you're watching this video, you need some kind of fan to force the air out this way. Um, but other than that, um, again, you know, you, 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 you don't try and compromise anything when it comes to this either. Uh, get a licensed uh, gas fitter to do this. Don't mess with it. If you don't understand gas, do yourself a favor. Um, get the right people that are, have the expertise in doing this. Um, when I actually uh, bought this heater, you know, it, it only came with a, a couple of fit-ins. Uh, I, I believe it came with this, the control valve, and all this pipe in here, I had to, and this extra shutoff valve, um, I actually had to get the gas fitter to, to run this and I just wanted the extra shutoff valve here just in case I wanted to shut the gas off without going outside I could do it. Um, the propane tank is actually uh, outside. Um, I'm using a regular uh, barbecue uh, tank. Um, I don't know how long it will last yet. Um, I'm still working on the calculations. Um, but um, you know, you know, the, the propane tanks cost me about eleven dollars to fill up. This is a normal barbecue tank. Um, I might have to upgrade with this a little size bigger, um, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy uh, with the uh, heater, and um, it's working uh, very well. Um, so that's the uh, heating aspects. Um, I also, like everyone else, we're using the uh, black drums. Um, I have it filled with uh, water. And um, that's just for thermal uh, energy. And um, I have another one over here. I'm, I'm planning to add probably one more. Um, you know, because you know, just a way of uh, uh, keeping the uh, the uh, the heat up. Um, as you know, water gives off thermal energy, so you know that's what the black drums are for. Um, so pretty well much. Um, I do have uh, circulating fans uh, going in here to circulate the actual. Uh, uh, heat around um, so just one more thing uh, maybe I should cover this um, as you can see I, I, I maybe you want to watch some other videos but um, I do have an aquaponic system I, I again have tropical trees on this side um, I've uh, actually uh, some people go with the actual clay pellets I do like them um, they're easy to work with I've actually went with gravel um, but um, one of the benefits of gravel is that I'm finding that I'm, I have a lot of worms. Uh, when I dig this up and look at the bottom, there's like tons of red worms in there, which is what I wanted. And um, my system is pretty much stable. I mean, I hardly do anything, anything to it. pH levels are good. Um, you know, um, everything is just, you know, if you see this, uh, like I, it's, it's just crazy. I just have stuff that's going everywhere and it's it's just bears a lot of tomatoes all the time you know as you can see I'm just giving you kind of an overview um, but yeah so you know that's why I went with the uh, actual uh, uh, gravel instead of the the clay which is um, easier to work with um, so that's pretty much uh, YouTube um, if you have any other questions um, in regards to um, my heating application of this greenhouse uh, just let me know and then uh, what I'll do I will probably cover something else off that I haven't covered before um, okay bye YouTube